it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. I am so excited about today's video. Today I'm doing a collab with the one and only Cinnamon Cooney, the Art Sherpa. I'm sure a bunch of you are familiar with her channel, but if you are not, you need to head over there. Um, she will teach you to paint. She paints these incredible things and she shows you how to do it. She has a great community, a great attitude, incredible talent. So be sure to go check out her channel and be sure to subscribe while you're there. Now for the project that we're doing, it's a little bit different than anything that I've done before. Over the years, we've talked about using resin in different ways and you could just use it as a covering, you could use it as a base, you could use it as a lot of different things. And I've told you to think about resin as your canvas. Now I have some painting skills, but they're pretty limited. But Cinnamon's got this incredible talent and she has agreed to do this with me. I'm gonna do a resin pour and then ship it off to Cinnamon and she is going to work her magic on it and paint something on it. She doesn't know the canvas that I'm sending to her and I have no idea what she's going to paint on it. So this is pretty exciting for me. Be sure to stick around to the end. I'll have a link to her video and there's a giveaway. I have a 12 by 12 canvas that I just picked up at the craft store and it comes pre-primed so you don't have to do anything to it. And I'm using the Resin Obsession colors. I'll have links to everything that I'm using down in the description below. Remember the most important thing is always to experiment and don't be afraid to try it. What is the worst thing that's going to happen if it doesn't work out exactly like you had planned it? A lot of times it ends up better. I'm going to start separating the resin into cups and adding stuff. Okay, I'm going to take some transparent red and add that to one of the cups. I'll start mixing that right away. If you let the stuff sit in the cups too long, it will start to set up. So you just want to remember to keep mixing. And if you need a second set of hands, ask somebody to help you. And this is a transparent blue. And you do want to make sure the stuff is well mixed. I'm going to do an opaque yellow. And resin is messy, so expect to get messy. I'm going to do a teal. Now the best thing I can tell you about working with resin is no matter what resin you're using, take the time to follow the directions and read them. And then I've got this glitter that I'm going to toss into one of these. And these are kind of like little strands of glitter almost. Here is some Duo Green Purple Pearl X powders. Okay, I'm going to put a scoop in there, mix it. I don't have a whole lot of resin in here but it will shimmer um, green and purple. And then I'm gonna put black into this one. Be sure to protect your work surface because resin will get anywhere if you give it the opportunity. All right, I'm gonna start with the black and I'm not gonna go everywhere, but I wanna put a nice vein of it through the middle. And I'll go with a little bit of the teal. And you can go any direction, you can overlap them. Don't get hung up on um, anything specific, like you have to do something a certain way. You do not. This is your project, and it's going to be beautiful no matter what you do. Let's get some of this glitter on there. So I found this little spatula at the dollar store for a dollar and it's silicone so the resin will peel right off of it once everything is cured. So now I'm just going to take, take it go through just like that and you don't have to but you can. You can just do whatever you want. Um, things blend together and they just look beautiful. So maybe I need a little more yellow here. So I'll add a little bit of yellow here because I still have a little bit um, that collected down in the back of the cup. And as it looks right now, it won't look like that at the end because over time as this stuff is moving around, it will continue to change. It will run off the edges, which is why we need to protect our work surface. Okay, we still have some glitter that we can add here and there if we want to. And if you don't like the way something is looking, just move it around. Use your stir stick, use a tool. So you're also going to have a lot of beautiful and interesting drips coming off of the side of your project. 
which when that happens I just take my spatula and I scoop some of that really pretty stuff off and I put it right on the edge because I want to make sure that every bit of this canvas is covered with something. And you are going to get drips underneath so you take your spatula again and over time you just want to continue scooping stuff off from under and then you can put it back on or not depending upon how your canvas is looking. And you might want to go back every once in a while you'll find a spot of canvas that starts poking through. So just scoop and add stuff to it if that's what happens. Now, I'm using a torch. Normally I use a lighter when I'm using resin, but because the project is larger, I then go to a torch. So run it right over the resin and pop the bubbles. You might want to do this a couple of times, because sometimes the bubbles will just reappear. Just keep an eye on it until no bubbles come back anymore. Leave it be at least 12 hours before you handle it. So remember to come back and pop the bubbles and remember to come back and scoop out from under here so you don't get those drips, those permanent drips under there because that's more cleanup later. I shipped the canvas off to Cinnamon. I can't wait to see what we get back. You guys look at this beautiful painting that Cinnamon did on that resin background. She painted these beautiful fish on here. Look at that. Look at the colors are beautiful and I think complements the piece perfectly. So I have it raised up. I dusted it to make sure all the dust was off. So I have mixed resin. I have eight ounces here. Six might have been enough, but I didn't want to be caught short. And I'm going to pour it right over. And this will protect it and give it a little more depth even. And it's going to run off the sides, so just expect that. And it's going to drip. But make sure you get it to the very edges. So once it's all down, I'm going to take my torch and I'm just going to torch the top. I'm not going to torch the edges. And this is just to pop those surface bubbles. Because we want a beautiful glass-like finish on here. And I'm going to suggest just taking your stir stick along the edge underneath just so you get as smooth of a finish underneath as you get so you don't have to grind anything down or anything like that. We need to let it cure for at least 12 hours before we handle it and we are going to have this beautiful piece. And remember, it's a giveaway. We are giving this beautiful piece away. Stick around to the end and you'll find out all the details for that. Here's the final piece. It is protected. It is perfect. And it is waiting for a new home. And this is a one of a kind piece that you could keep forever. You need to head over to Cinnamon's channel and she is going to do a live broadcast on how to paint the fish so you can see exactly how it was done. Now let's talk about the giveaway. The giveaway is open to everyone internationally. If you win and you can receive mail, I'll send it to you. And there is a link in the description that will take you to the giveaway. Um, we're not running it on the channel just so that nobody can do any funny business and all the information is there. It's open internationally. Um, if you are under the age of 18, you need a parent's permission to enter. There's a lot of different options for you to enter. We're giving this away as a thank you for supporting our channels. So the one thing you have to do is you have to be subscribed to my channel here at Craft Clutch. So while you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And you have to be subscribed to Cinnamon's Art Sherpa channel. So when you head over there, be sure to hit the subscribe button over there as well. And you can also enter every day by tweeting about it. You can tweet our videos out. There's um, specific directions over there. So again, thank you guys so much for liking, watching, and sharing. And remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter.